Hi, it's Mary George and welcome to my channel. So for today, I'm going to tour you in our house with our indoor plants. So, because this is requested by my friends and family, so I'm going to show you what are my indoor plants, but not the whole house because let's keep that a mystery. So come on, join me. Let me just quickly show you our front yard. So I actually put succulents in front of our house as well. Another succulent in our front yard is this one. I'll show you the before photo. And this is how it looks like now. I love these succulents or their Echeveria succulents because they're very fast growing. They can like multiply in a few months time. So this is my first plant. To be honest, I don't have a green thumb. So I started with succulents and I'm so happy that they survived. So they've been with me for, I guess, four years. So these are my first plants. So I started with succulents and then I moved to different plants. So for beginners, I highly recommend succulents. And this is my jade plant because they said it gives good luck for money. So why not? More money, more honey. <laughs> and now, let's go inside our house. Door. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to our house. So I'm going to show you my precious which are hiding under our stairs. No, I just put them here because, you know, to keep them safe. So yes, so I just show, I'll show you one by one what are my precious. So this is Guzmania. So this is Aglaonema or Chinese lucky plant. This is a rare begonia rex because of its tiny dots on the leaves. How cute is that? Next is the peperomia which has a heart shape. It was really good when I bought it but I don't know what happened. <laughs> but still nice. So if you watch my previous video, this is the chain of hearts. So I haven't removed the tags when I bought it. I love this because it's a trailing plant. Look at that. So it's just gonna grow downward, 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 up to the road. <laughs> Kidding. So next I have this cute greenery, which is the Fitonia. Lucky I still have the tag. <laughs> Otherwise, can't remember the name. So cute. One of my favorite is the Monstera. It is really big and can grow crazy. So yeah, this is one of my favorite, the Monstera. One thing that I'll suggest for all the plant mama or plant parents out there is to buy a moisture meter so that you know when to water your plants. I normally water my plants once a week, but maybe during summer I'll water them twice a week. So all you have to do is plot it like this in the soil. Then it will tell you if it's dry or it's moist or wet. So this one definitely needs more water now because it's dry. So later we'll water it. And then in our cube cabinets in our living room, I have these plants. So this is Ivy Hedera. It's a self-climbing plant with attractive foliage. As you can see, it also seems variegated and it, has, it seems like a star shape. I really love it and it can thrive in a low light setting. That's why I put this in our living room. My next plant is the Photo Satin, which has a satin field on its leaves. Actually, you cannot see it on the camera, but in person, it has like a satin finish and it really looks nice. So that's why these two are in my living room area. 
So another plant that I love indoor is the rubber tree. Situated beside our accent chair. In our buffet table in our dining area, I have the Snow Queen. I love this because it's also variegated. As you can see, it has the white and the green leaves. This was gifted to me last Christmas and it's very sturdy as well, survive indoor lights and slow maintenance as well. My new favorite is the Rafito Flora Tetrasperma. So hard to pronounce. <laughs> But look at the leaves. It's like a family of Monstera as well, but this is more of a climbing plant. So it actually climbed really fast. I think when I got it, it's only up to here. I'll show you the photo when I bought it. Remember this, it's only up to here. Here's the Look at it now, it's like almost double the size. So yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite at the moment. Now, the diva of them all is this fiddle leaf tree. Like I have this tree for maybe four years now. And thank God, it still survives. It's really sensitive plant. To be honest, it's an indoor plant. But most of the time, I put it outside in our veranda here. I put it here outside. It's because, I don't know, it's just sometimes the leaves is getting yellowish. I know, some, some people say it's maybe over water. Some people say it's very sensitive. Actually, it doesn't want to be, you know, people passing by and touching it. So yeah, this is my spoiled brat plant. <laughs> But I love her. Now let's go to our backyard because I'm gonna show you something. Not something, a lot of it actually. <laughs> this is the ZZ plant or the Zanzibar plant. This is really easy to look after as well, low maintenance. But be careful because they said that it's poisonous to pets and especially to kids of course. So that's why I put it outside so that it's safe. So this is my hanging plants. Okay, these are my hanging plants which I put under the shade as well but with indirect sunlight. I forgot their names. I'll try to put the description or tag the description but yeah I love the hanging plants I love I really love those something that has trailing like this and of course I put a little bit of succulents in the middle so that it looks nice yeah. and this type of succulents they're actually a trailing succulent so they go down yeah so i love it next is this spider plant which is easy to care as well and they multiply really fast in the beginning i put it indoor but it's it's drying up so i put it outside it's now in our outdoor dining area or table it's really nice so now these are my most prized succulents and cactuses so this is Hawartia if I pronounce that correctly so it's also variegated it has green and the white thingy as you know I love variegated plants so this is another family of succulents but it's very rare and slow growth is the Frank Rene they are really slow growing succulents they're like i have them for more than six months and they're still the same <laughs> these are another succulents babies and these are also slow growing they don't grow so fast these are my moonstones hello ants <laughs> so many ants this one is another cactus which I'll put a description. Forgot really sorry. Okay, this one is also a rare plant, but what I love about this is the leaves. It felt like it's it's a soft 
stuffed toy. I don't know if you can see it, but it has that really soft velvety feel yeah it's a velvety feel they're succulent that doesn't grow that fast is this miranda but it's massive because look so it occupies the whole pot but it doesn't grow that fast which i like so i have this only one and i have this for almost a year now it didn't grow that fast another family of succulent which i'll put the name in the description I forgot but I love it look at it it's so luscious I'm planning to put this in front of our house to swap with the other succulents in the front door so maybe I'll do a part two of my plant tour <laughs> and finally my babies these are my succulent babies like different variety of succulents as you can see I have loads of them so these are my first love this is what get me into plants because they're easy to take care of okay you are not Asian if you don't have a calamansi in your backyard <laughs> So this calamansi tree was gifted to me and it's still surviving after a year and fruiting. Look at that. So I have fruit. I can harvest them later. So yeah, this is my lime or calamansi plant tree. Bonus plant is my popo or papaya plants. So in Australia, they pronounce it as popo. I'll write it down there. I'm hoping that it will give us fruit so I'm putting them in the backyard as well okay I also have a small nursery so when I want to repot or propagate them like this one I put them in a small pots and maybe if someone wants to buy them it's fine as well but and then I use you know cuttings to cut them this is a trailing plant so I have a separate table for that where I put all the baby plants and then transfer them to a bigger one. So there you have it guys, the tour of my indoor plant and backyard plants. I hope you learned something and let me know what other plant therapy that you want me to feature or other plants that you want me to feature next time. So please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on my video please guys. I want to connect with you. See you on my next videos. Bye bye! So for today, I'm going to tour you in our house. So let for mm. so first, let's check our at.